Hey, what's up everyone? Eric Ross of the Guy with the Eye here, and I'm checking out Morph Cuts. What am I talking about? Stay tuned. So just today, July 28, 2015, 27, whatever, whenever you're watching this, uh, there was a big update that Adobe uh, released for their Creative Cloud software, Photoshop, Lightroom, Media Encoder, and Adobe Premiere uh, Pro CC Creative Cloud Edition to help with some bug fixes and some big things and performance issues. And with this, you know, and even when this 2015, you know, just came out just recently as well, that update, uh, you know, it's pretty new. It gave a lot of features, especially in Adobe Premiere Pro. And, you know, I've done a couple of these videos and you guys, you guys and girls have actually watched on Multiplicity, you know, learning how to do some of these cuts. And one of the things I never tested out was morph with a morph cut or a morph transition, which essentially seamlessly blends two clips together instead of it having a jump cut. So essentially, you know, this is a jump cut. We'll go from here. Hopefully this is recording the computer audio. But I've heard, what did I find? You see that jump right there where it literally just jumps? That type of thing. That is a jump cut if you, uh, if you didn't know. So this is supposed to seamlessly blend them together morph it together and make it look as if, and it adds like artificial uh, frames, as if it was just one seamless shot with cutting out the ums and ahs. And that's what I really did here. I took a, I took a raw clip, you know, whatever, 15 minutes of, of review I did and just took a solid 32 seconds uh, of, of stuff right here. about it as well. Uh, they sent this to me. You know, ums, ahs, and I just laid that down here, made some quick cuts. And literally just 10 minutes ago, I did this. And I really haven't, dived into it that much. I just did a couple quick cuts to cut out something and threw these in here and let it render while I was starting this up to record. So I'm really curious as how good it is. I've, I've seen the Adobe uh, tutorial videos and they recommend that these uh, that these cuts, that these transitions are 15 frames. I'm gonna maybe experiment, maybe go a little bit lower to hopefully make it a little more seamless type of thing. So we'll find out. But the weirdest thing I know, especially with a talking head, and that's really the purpose of this, it's when someone isn't moving much. And with my videos, I tend to move a little bit, but I found a clip here where I didn't move that much. So it's really for interviews where I guess it make it easier to do these transitions and cuts. So if someone's here and they really don't move much, this should work pretty flawlessly. But I've also noticed that if someone's here and maybe they drift off to here, it might not work that well. So we're going to see how that works right here. As I said, I laid these down on here and all of a sudden, all you have to do is just go to your effects tab, type in morph or it's under your video transitions and this is it right here and you drag it on. So I'll do that for the third one live. So I just really want to kind of see how these are right here. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to hit, uh, hit my tick key, which is above my tab. And we're going to see what this morph cut does. So you, we won't see where it is. Let's see if we can see it and notice it. Oh, he's really strong on that. But how about this? That looked atrocious. <laughs> Let's go back. So, okay, that was extreme motion. Let's try it again. So it didn't work like that. So it didn't work. So let's go here. Let's see how this works here. Some decent reviews, and I was very curious about it as well. I never even... See, it did it again. You can't do... As you see, my hand... Yeah, you can't really do extreme situations. But okay, as I said, I found a good moment to where this should work pretty well. Let's try it. Things that I've heard. What did I find out... See, I didn't move that much. So let's tick back. Let's go back here. There was the, you know, I cut out some ums and ahs there. So let's grab this morph cut, drag this bad boy on. So it splits both. Uh, this may come either 16 or 20 seconds default in some. I've had this already kind of set up for 15. But as I said, I'm going to make it a little bit less, 13 frames, not 13 seconds, because that would be much larger and probably look way more atrocious. So in the background right now, see it says this is analyzing. It's actually building this right now. Uh, you could double click it, open up effects control, and you can kind of see it in here and then just really wait for it to go out. And then essentially what I like to do is hit return or enter to render out the clips as well. And let's see how this works. Camera, this was camera, it's almost a much more seamless type of thing. So let's Let's see if this works. I just really want to give my live thoughts, show you how to do it. Maybe it's something you want to mess with. Let's see what this does. Things that I've heard. What did I find out in my tech? That wasn't horrible. I mean, it was a little bit. It's the it's the it's the it's the camera that's throwing us off. That I've heard. What did I find out in my tech? 
But if you're not looking that hard, you know, it actually works kind of well. Let's see if we can find something else. This camera. So, so with this alone, the camera is throwing it off. So you can't have a lot of motion either. Um, so I'm going to skip ahead. I'm going to see if I can find something really uniform if I'm really just standing still. So let's kind of cut. So we're back. And I did find a clip where the, you see there's a little bit of peaks and valleys in the audio. So let's just kind of go through Ooh, this. Slide. I know it was wide. There you go. I want to cut out this little bit of gap here. Uh, <laughs> there we go. So let's, we're going to want to cut that out. A little too fish eye to me, even though it wasn't necessarily fish eye. Let's just do two. It just seemed... It, it just... It, it, See if I if I didn't leave it like that, so just show you what I mean. It just seemed see how it's kind of jumpy, which personally I don't mind as well. But once again, let's grab these morph cuts. Let's jump, dump these on here for the transitions. Then this should be the best example. So so we've learned that you can't really have the extremes, you can't go crazy, but you should it should be a little more forgiving than what it is. It's an interesting technology, but I just don't know if it's it, I don't. I just don't know how well it's going to work. And this is a less extreme example here. So let's check I know this it was, out. Let's tick this back up. Let's go here. I know it was wide. It just looked a little too fish eye to me, work. even though it wasn't necessarily fish eye. It just seemed. A... Now. It just seemed. It just seemed. That one actually worked pretty well. Fish eye. It just seemed. How about this one? See, this one was a little more snappy and jumpy. It was wide. It just looked a fish eye. It just seemed. This this one actually worked well. Now what? See what was the major difference? Let me delete. Uh, let me go in and actually delete these here just to see how was my head positioning. I was there. And a little further back, and it's and it adds artificial uh, frames to try and compensate for that. So that's an extreme movement, unfortunately. Now let's see how this one was here. Let's go to this frame. So it really wasn't much. It was just kind of going from here to here type of thing. And we see that that you know that worked out pretty well. Fish eye. It just seemed you know it just seemed like a little more fluid. So overall, I I don't know if this morph cut is really a huge use. I, once again, I think the technology is kind of cool with it. I just don't think it 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 doesn't solve an extreme. I think the junk jump cut does better. Uh, once again, I I would probably literally just have to be like this and really concentrate on not moving uh, whatsoever, which is tough because people sway side by side, especially if they're standing or doing interviews. You know, with the way I talk, I'm a little more expressive, so my head bobs and weaves a little bit. So for practicality use, I don't know if this is 100% useful. Once again, I like the idea if it could be improved maybe in another update to really kind of track a little bit more, to be more forgiving, especially maybe within a, like a little bit more of a box so it's not like jumpy or, you know, stuff like that. So I just really wanted to test and just kind of explain to you what it was. And maybe if you have this, you want to try it yourself. You did not know it existed and you might actually really like it. So this is my test on the Morph. Uh, on Morph Cut, the transition that you can use in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2015. I think it's cool. I just I just don't find it working that well, unfortunately. But who knows? Technology improves. I know uh, Avid has had, you know, something similar, you know, and Adobe finally has brought it in. That, But it's really cool. I, I do love Premiere. I love the interface and everything and how it works. And it's really improved my wantingness and it really improved my workflow of uh, video editing, especially for YouTube and with professional client work on the video side. So those are my thoughts. What are your thoughts? If you guys, girls have any questions, please uh, ask those down below. I, you know, I answer everyone's questions. Thank you so much for watching. Keep an eye out. And if you want more of these type of videos, I would love to do them as well.